Hello everyone and welcome back to another metal melting video. It just rained and I have puddles everywhere. And you just saw it, it is still very cloudy outside. Who knows if it's going to continue raining. So that only gives me one choice and that's to melt metal in my garage. I'm going to melt down these brass fittings in my new Viver electric furnace. I used this last week for the first time, so this would be the second time. The first time I melted down aluminum, so today we're going to find out how well it melts down brass. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description below, along with a 5% coupon code. For today's metal cast, I'm going to make a replica of this Dwarven Sigil using green sand. This stuff right here. It's actually called Teton Black Olivin Sand. I'm going to be using this two-part casting flask to make the mold. The first thing I'm going to do is place down a backing plate to the mold, put half the flask facing down, followed by putting the pattern into it. Then I'm going to add some talcum powder to the pattern brushing it in with a fine bristle brush so the sand does not stick to it. And now I'm going to start adding the sand to the flask to make up the mold. With the first half of the flask complete, it's now time to start on the second half. Here I am carving out half of the thickness of the pattern. This makes removing the pattern much easier. Just like every sand mold, I'm going to have to carve out a sprue. This is where the molten metal is going to float into the mold. With both halves of the casting flask complete, it's now time to clean up the sprue from any of the sand that broke away and remove the pattern from the mold. Put together two casting flasks and now it's time to check back on the metal and see if it's ready to pour. Unfortunately, I did not have enough brass to completely fill the second mold. So now I'm going to add some more brass to the crucible, make up one more mold for today's video. After waiting about 10 to 15 minutes, it's now time to open up both of these flasks and see how they came out. The first one obviously did not come out fully because I didn't have enough molten metal to fill that mold. But the second one, I sure did. And this one looks like it came out excellent. It 
because the first one did not come out, I'm actually going to take this little bit that's left in here and put it back in the crucible to add to my next mold. I mean, you could see it has really good detail, but what good is it if it's not the full thing? Something that I didn't show on video, but I did do it, was heat the top of the casting flask. This is very important and you should always do it. After letting this casting flask set for about 10 to 15 minutes, like I did the other one, it's now time to open it up and see how this one came out. And now it's time to cut off the sprue and show you guys what I do to clean these up. It looks good just like this, but for this one, I'm going to apply some Brasso Brass Polish to it. Here they are, one with the polish and one without. They both look good. Either one I would be happy with. Now, I don't remember where I got the idea for these from. I just know I made an aluminum one like two years ago. If anybody can recognize this and know where it was from, please comment below and let me know. I just know that I got the image off the internet called a Dwarven Sigil, but I don't know where it's from. Lord of the Rings or a Dungeons and Dragon, I'm not really sure.